victory between these two. Alright, so you got Real Law who who is East Coast Law and you got the game who's like Vice President Law? No, no, no. He says the game says Fernando, he says he's East Coast Law. But they never really went at it. I mean, they've gone at it a few times. Why don't they just play for it? No, no, they have and pretty much they beat each other. So until like a real money match between these two actually go down. I would like to see that. You can never really say you're East Coast Law. No. Even though Juan has proven it by playing somebody for the title. Yeah. Whom is KPC, who is really, really good with Law. From Delaware, but... Do we know who won that match? Uh, the real Law did. Okay. Uh, I believe it was a money match and for a title. Therefore, he can legitimately say he is East Coast Law. Right, right. And that I respect that. Yeah. But you got Fernando over here who's been using Law for a long time. So, and he, he's pretty good with Law. Pretty successful. And the two, I don't know who's the better Law. I really don't know. I think it's Juan. Hopefully when the game comes out, we'll be able to settle that. True. That's true, but this is... This is a uh, tag and tag, two characters. That's okay. And I think it's Cause, fine. Because in the version that we'll get, you can do one on one. Remember? That's true. Yeah. That's true. So you'll get all the new attacks, all that stuff, and you'll still be able to settle that deck rush. Yup. And that's the one special. Back one, two, one. Or back to one, two, whatever that is. Yeah, I like that when the time runs out, it actually shows you the percent of the life so that you yeah. know if you won, you know, legitimately or not. Yep. A lot of times, I don't know if you played Street Fighter, but you'll see, like, the life, and you'll be like, come on, really? Yeah. It's, it's pretty bad. That's, like, the best way to, the worst way to lose. Yeah. It's when the time runs out on you. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it, so you try to come in and, like, try to hit them, but... Mm -hmm. They just hit you first. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it worse, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got the Iver Oh, sidestep too. That has always been one of Nina's best moves. Yeah, that's a classic move for her. Ooh, nice. Uh, I'm just going to call it. Uh, Juan's going to win. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. You've been pretty spot on lately with your... Uh Prediction. <laughs> yeah, predictions yeah. are pretty My good. My predictions are sickening like Nostradamus. <laughs> so <laughs> if I say something, most more than more more than often it, it's, it's gonna happen. Can we call you Incogstradamus? Incogstradamus. In, in, in Very time. nice. I yes, like that. Yes, you may, you may, you may. <laughs> Ooh, nice can Oh and he, nice. Ooh. This is top level play. Yeah. He broke the stun. Locked the launcher and launched it because it was punishable. Yeah, that it takes a while to get <laughs> to get the no, smarts it to takes, do that. It takes experience. Oh, no For rule. these guys, it's almost like muscle memory because it's it's yeah. familiar to them. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of what sets this game apart from a lot of other, other games. games. Yeah, is the, I mean, the other games are hard, of course, but yeah, this game is it's real complex. Mm -hmm. That's why. Well, a lot of games. I mean, come I, yeah, it's true. Yeah, they come down to like character mastery where this game yeah. has character mastery and then you have to master yeah. the system on top of it, you know? Because Sometimes just getting up <laughs> is something you have to know, you know? So otherwise you'll true. just get hit that on the floor. That is true because uh, somebody told me like, this game is so difficult that Justin Wong, we all know him. Mm -hmm. They say that this is the only game he can't really pick up and be successful in. Yeah. Well, I pr probably this in Virtual Fighter, I guess. Yeah, this and Virtual Fighter. Yeah, that's that's rough too. I heard that Virtual Fighter requires the most skill in any game to win. Yeah. It's it's probably like a 3D version of like Third Strike or Guilty Gear. True, or, you know, true, just, true. And it's uh, really hard to win no with that. Oh, mid escape. I actually just found out recently that they changed the uh, the ground pound where you can actually select what buttons you press. So no you don't have to alternate anymore. You can actually just do right, 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 right. You know, like wow. two, 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 and you just do that. That's or good. you can alternate like two left, one right, two left, like that type of thing for all five hits. That's which crazy. I think is awesome because Where, wait, what's your source? Him? Okay. That's a legitimate source. Yeah. That's he pointed at filthy. Yeah, we I was actually um trying it out last night. So it's it's definitely confirmed. <laughs> but uh, <laughs>
<laughs> it's definitely confirmed. Definitely confirmed by my hand. I tested it on the machine myself. Uh, I was playing with uh, NYC Fab, so yeah, we got a chance to kind of go a little deeper into the system, and it was it was really surprising because I've been playing Tekken for a while, and uh, I know you've been playing as well, but. Yeah, I have. Um, you kind of recognize <laughs> the stuff that they reused in the animation, yeah, yeah, and yeah, a lot of that true, stuff got true. dumped, and they did a lot of new yeah. animations for things. Which yeah, is and great. not just that, like, it seems like this game, it's gonna be interesting because in tournaments, it seems like there's always somebody that uses, like, a certain character. Mm -hmm. So, like, in tournaments, people save, like, the gimmicks for yeah. tournaments. Yeah. If they need, like, a little bit of health taken, they'll usually save, like, a string of new moves yeah. that nobody's seen before. Yeah. For, hey, who won the last game? For the win. Uh, last game was won by uh, Fernando. Uh, Fernando. The game. The game. The game. So there goes that prediction, Incognito. No, no, I said who's gonna win overall. Yeah, he's gonna win the set. Yeah. You're listening, though, Jaxel. I like that. <laughs> he he's very attentive. That is Jaxel, by the way. Um, he introduced me to the break stakes at eight on the break. Oh, really? Yes. And uh, I forgot my name ever since. Yeah, I've, I've had those. They're actually pretty good. Very good. Five dollars to get everything. Yeah, it's it's a pretty solid meal. That's the only reason I became good at OK in Tekken Six because I would go there for the steaks and stay for Tekken and stay for Tekken. <laughs> so, yeah. Shout out to the the break, the the steaks. Shout out to Nam. Oh, Bandai. he ran up, duck, and while standing to them. That's what boss people oh, do. Oh man, side throw very and, nice. All right, I'm gonna change my prediction and say Fernando's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly? Oh. Nah, I, I don't know who's gonna win. Really, it's a new game. Anybody could be anybody. Yeah, it's anybody's game. Is a uh, fighting GM around? Or um, Fab? Actually, he's next. He's at the bar. Okay, because fighting GM and Fab are up next. Oh, in winners they're finals. Winners finals. Yes. Yeah. I'll be. Sh all right, after this uh, game. Just a warm up. So right now you got Armor King bounding. Yeah. Wall splat. Oh, wall standing too. Bound. Very nice wall. Okay, um, you got Tekken six combos going down. Yeah, it didn't. No hit switching, though. nothing. Oh. Oh, nice cross jump. Oh. Minus ten or eleven. Oh, nice. They did a really good job with the effects in the game. They did, they did. Getting dirty uh, on, the, on the fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's, I was telling, uh, who, who was I telling that to? Rich. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like, if you get knocked down, like, yeah. they get dirty. Yeah, and not just that. Other characters, like, with shirts on. Yeah. Like, there's holes in their clothes. So. Yeah, they'll get wet. Like, if they fall into water. Yeah, yeah. It's wet. And it's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good break. Oh, nice break. Oh, just throw it out. Sometimes you just have to go for it. Yep. You know? No, no, no. This is the thing is because uh, I think there's two types of Tekken players. You got the people that are solid and basic, and they stick to frame, frame data. Yeah. Like punishing things properly, playing safe. Right. And you got like the crazy people. They just go. They just go crazy and don't yeah. believe in frames. Yeah. But they win, and they're considered like top players. But you have to consider that these are also people that know are frames yeah. as well. Yeah, they know but, frames yeah. and they know their characters better than a lot of people yeah. that just go by frames. Because that is true. The people that go by frames tend to cut out a lot of moves because they consider them useless when they're not. It's yep. just application, yep. I guess. No break on the throw. Wall splat. Oh, oh very nice. He's Took going low for the win. He's going low for the win. He's going to do it. Again. Oh, <laughs> he did the mid attack. Nice. Ooh. We got Fernando about to eliminate Juan if Juan doesn't find a way to win. Juan with the wall Very standing nice too. Oh, oh, and he drops, drops the, the juggle. Combo. No escape. See, there's people that really beat themselves in this game as well because yeah. when you drop juggles like that, there's guaranteed damage that you lost. Yeah. It also affects your, your mentality from yeah, a player yeah. standpoint. Yeah. You know? I think that in yourself. like in tournaments such as this, confidence really is. Yeah, that's that's probably the most important thing, you know. Yeah, confidence. Because if if you're gonna play all scared, you won't get to play your game. No. 
No. And you'll so it doesn't matter how much you practice anything. If you can't apply it in tournament, you might as well just money match people first to ten. Well, I think that's probably the biggest hurdle for a lot of people that, you know, don't really play in tournament and they come. Well, no, no, no. I think that um, I've even talked to some top players in Tekken. Like, uh, you got Steve Bloodhawk. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's actually an OG because he's been around for a while, but yeah. he still gets tournament, tournament nerves. Mm -hmm. And he told me one time that that's one of the reasons why he competes at this level. It's that rush that he... Oh! oh. And it's over. And the game takes it. And the it. game takes it. Fernando, here's your reward. You can... No, it's your reward. You can comment.